Hello and welcome to Calvary Chapel Daily Devotions. Today is the 25th of April, 2020, and it will be our final one in our series about the appearances of Jesus after he was resurrected from the dead and before he ascends into heaven. And so today could be entitled Final, final Instructions. And so the uh, references will be in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and Acts. And I'm just going to go through really the main point quickly. So if you look at all of the harmony of the Gospels, the last meeting of Jesus with his disciples, really the apostles, uh, we see in Matthew, uh, Jesus says for them to go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, you know, the Great Commission. So go, therefore, and produce disciples. Then when we get to Mark, he says to preach the gospel to all the nations. So produce disciples, preach the gospel. When we get to Luke, there's this promise of the Holy Spirit in Luke 24, 49. And then in John, we've already talked about it even yesterday, that it's personal where um, Jesus was talking to Peter. And Jesus made it very clear, you follow me. Don't worry about anyone else. Don't worry about anyone else's calling. Make it personal. And then we're going to finish up, though, in the, the book of Acts, chapter 1, and we'll look at um, a few verses here. Let me start with verse 6 of Acts, chapter 1. It says, Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, that's Jesus, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has put in his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. So it's interesting. Jesus tells the disciples in Matthew, go therefore. But then he says, wait, wait in Jerusalem for the promise of the Holy Spirit, and you're going to receive power so that you can do everything that I've instructed you. And, you know, that's still true for us today. We, the church, we should not get ahead of the Lord ever. We need the working of his spirit in us, his power upon us, and to be led by his spirit. Just like Moses said uh, to the Lord, Lord, I don't want to move. I don't want to go anywhere unless you're leading us, unless you go with us. And that should be our heart and our prayer as well. So for those of us who have been walking with the Lord for a long time now, we know all of that's true, but sometimes we can... We can stumble along the way, and all of a sudden now we're getting ahead of what the Lord's doing. And so during this time of lockdown, at least for me personally, I think the Lord's telling me to seek him, to press into him, to look up. And it's almost like this um, worldwide timeout with the Lord, where we have this opportunity now to seek his face. And when we do that, and we're crying out to him, no matter the situation, he can give us power from his spirit that now we walk by his moving and he's moving us. So he can move in us even if we're locked into a house. And maybe that's what he's doing now. But I think that he's saying to the church in a big way to wake up, to seek him, to be empowered by him once again. Maybe we have this great awakening worldwide just ahead of us that masses of people will come to the Lord in salvation. Maybe there's another revival for the church where the church that may be sleeping in, in a sense would be awakened now by the power of the Spirit. And so that we would do things by His power and not by the labor of our own hands. Uh, because we know Scripture tells us over and over again that that is a waste of time. But if we're moved by him and his power, as we're seeking him, he will give instruction and he will lead and guide us. So let that be encouragement for you today. And just uh, so you know, tomorrow being Sunday, I, and we're finished with now this series of devotion, I'm going to continue uh, from now on, and as long as we're in this situation where we can't gather together at the church, I will use small increments of time like these devotions, and I'll continue to go through the book of Zechariah in that format. So the messages now 
for like starting tomorrow morning, Zechariah will be somewhere in the five minute to maybe seven minute range. And I'm gonna do that every day until we're done with that book. And the Lord's put in my heart uh, we'll, we'll, where we'll go next as far as what book we'll study. But keep that in prayer. And I just wanna be flexible by the spirit as, the, as I'm being called and led. And I'm praying that you are as well. So thank you for your time. Uh, I'm really uh, encouraged by your feedback with these devotions. You're blessing me. And so let's keep everything in prayer, but let's seek the Lord and let's seek his power from his spirit as we follow him in Jesus' name. Until next time, God bless.